Hey everybody, Ricky of Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, February the 25th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for their featured race 9, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Busher Handicap, 8.5 furlong route test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Three-year-old fillies race for $75,000. Contenders number 2, Sweet 17. Number 5, Plum. The paired entry of number 1, List T and the Stablemate. Number 1A off limits on my list along with number 4, Better Lucky. Few folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today. The Busher Handicap is named for Louis B. Mayer's remarkable filly in 1945, Horse of the Year. As a two-year-old, Busher carried the colors of her breeder, Colonel E.R. Bradley's Idle Hour Stock Farm, was trained by J.W. Smith. In seven starts, she won five races, including the Adirondack Handicap, the Matron, and the Salton Mistakes. She was named champion two-year-old filly in 1944. During the wartime suspension of racing in 1945, Busher was sold to L.B. Mayer for a reported $50,000. After racing resumed, Busher started 13 times, was never out of the money, winning 10. Against her own gender, she posted victories in the Santa Susana, the Santa Margarita, the Cleopatra Handicap, and a match race with Duranma. Against the male, she was victorious in the Hollywood Derby, the San Vicente, the Arlington, and the Washington Park Handicap. Here in the 33rd renewal, this stakes test number two, Sweet 17, the overall speed leader in this field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in each of her four career starts to date, winning twice. She's coming off back-to-back -back power run place finishes in her last two starts. Number five, Plum, a six to one shot, the pace profile leader, has also hit the board in each of her respective four starts to date, winning three, including back-to-back -back power run wins her last two times out. Race 9 summary, number 2, Sweet 17, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 5, Plum, number 1, List T, and the Stablemate, number 1A off limits on, on my list, along with number 4, Better Lucky 2514, and the ninth from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Busher Handicap. Go to Gulfstream Park for their featured race 11, 5.13 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Devona Dale Stakes, 8.5 for a long Root test on the dirt, grade two, three or row fillies race for a quarter of a million dollars. Contenders number two, Gracie Hall. Number five, Frolics Revenge. Number three, Captivating Lass. And number four, The Cats All That. Number two, Gracie Hall takes a class drop of three units this afternoon as the overall speed and pace profile leader from Stakes Field. Racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt has hit the board in power run fashion in each of her four career starts to date, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency to begin her young career. Jackie Ramon Dominguez and trainer Anthony Dutrow centered to the post. They've hit the board with 64% of their entry saddles as a team to date. Number five, Frolic's Revenge has hit the board in power run fashion in both of her last two, including a power run win in her second race back. Race 11 summary, number two, Grace Hall, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number five, Frolic's Revenge, number three, Captivating Lass, and number four, The Cats All That. That's 2534 in the 11th from Gulfstream, the $250,000 grade two Devona Dale Stakes. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, race three, the four to one shot, number two, Royal Clash, the overall speed leader in this climbing field, sprinting at or about today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Charlestown, race three, the eight to one shot. Number eight, Rhino Song, the overall speed leader in this climbing field, sprinting at tonight's distance of four and one half furlongs on the West Virginia dirt. So handicapping from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Saturday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.